So it's Joe's job to go get the water from the water collection tank tomorrow. And water catching system. Oh, I think that's And he's got to carry it over to the hot water kettle. Which is a bit of a chore. Oh, and when you're nine years old, a couple gallons of water, it's not light. It's just a kettle. It's a stainless steel drum. Holds about 40 to 44 gallons of water, somewhere around there. It's not exact. It's got a drain here, and we attach a hose here if we want to take it someplace. You can also use a pump to you know, raise it so you have pressure. But we use it just for baths and for uh, laundry. And it's handy to have 40 gallons of piping hot water. If it's too hot, you mix it with some cold water and you have the right temperature that you need. The top one. There's a firebox down here, pretty big firebox, but and it's double walled. But you don't want to overfire it because you're not trying to bust your equipment. You're just trying to heat the water. And that amount of wood there, when it's done burning, will have 40 gallons of water near boiling. So it doesn't take very much at all. In the winter, it takes a little bit more maybe 30 minutes and maybe 50% more wood. You have a chimney out the back. You need the chimney for draw. I have a cap on there so the rain doesn't go. This stays outside all year long. It is my absolute favorite piece of equipment for homesteading. If you're going to live off grid, or if you want to cut down on your heating bills or your hot water bills, this is the gadget to have. It's been 20 minutes. Water's about 150 degrees, ready for laundry. This is a 1940 bag. It's about 76 years old. Can't kill the thing. There's nothing to it. The only thing that powers it is a half uh, horsepower motor that I installed underneath. So I mount it underneath and it drives the agitator. There's no pumps, it's just gravity. You have to load it uh, by bucket and then you drain it by gravity. That's it. And when you want to drive, there's no spin cycle, you run it through these rollers. And it's much drier than uh, you know, a typical washing machine we have today. So it's rinse cycle. That means we turn off the agitator and let the hose down. That's it. There's no more pumping. There's no nothing to it. We can unplug it at this point if we wanted to. But we're going to let the water drain. And then we'll put in some rainwater. That's all the soap out and hang it on the line. Laundry done. Sucks. That's great. <laughs>